Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another reaction video with me, your boy Orlando. Welcome everyone to Orlando Morales TV. You know, as always, as usual, I'm your host Orlando. Nothing really has changed. Um, we have a, yet another super lit reaction video. We have the most motivating six minutes of your life. David Goggins. Shout out to David Goggins, bro. And, uh, fucking beast bro he's a motherfucker bro he's a beast so you know i decided to wake up you know i felt good today you know i woke up pretty good you know i'm filming another video you know i'm only eating circular shaped foods for 24 hours i already took care of that so uh by the time you watch this video that video's already been out so make sure you go watch it and hit a like on that bitch but if you are new to the channel welcome i've been waiting for your arrival Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Join the network. Elena Morales TV is good for you. I've been saying this over and over countless times. I say it because it's true. This is a good channel, man. It's good for you. It's underrated. Slept, in my opinion. Whatever. Also, scroll down. Hit the like button. Uh, turn your post notification. And follow me on all social media platforms that are in the description below. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video motivates you encourages you and drives you to be the best version of yourself and to be a master of your craft whatever that is so without further ado the most motivating six minutes of your life david goggins let's watch this together ladies and gentlemen some people have been bullied some people are just stressed out some people are insecure some people are fat and overweight i call myself fat because i was fat and people don't want to do that. They want to say, oh, don't call yourself fat. Don't call yourself dumb. If you're not real and raw with who the f you are, nothing's going to change. In this yeah, nice true, new world that we live in, we want to hear, you're just a little big. No, man, you might be fat. I say I'm thick, you know. I like we surround fat, ourselves. But around people that make us feel great that tell us what we want to hear the second we put ourselves amongst the uncommon people we don't like that feeling that challenge and feel that of, of that person waking up 3 30 in the morning saying, hey push your shit off we're going for a run we like that person who says hey you know what, man i don't feel good today man and they say oh it's okay brother we don't want that motherfuckers like this no cap bro i know what he's saying bro you know you always want to have someone in your life that is real with you, that's honest, real, truthful, and like pushes you to your limits, challenges your, like, you know, like a person that really challenges you, you know, that's, uh, that's good to have around you because it pushes you and it drives you. And if you don't have that, um, like around you, that's surrounding or anything like that, then you owe it to yourself to, you know, make that switch in your head and, and push yourself. You know, have that self-discipline to push yourself to the next level. You know, watching videos like this, you know, encourages people. And, but he's right, man. You know, your true friends are the ones that are brutally honest, you know. And if you don't like what they're saying, then it's probably true. It's probably true, man. So listen to your, listen to your friends, your family. You know, if they say something that you might not agree with, don't get mad and, and you know, curse them out and shit. Like, listen to them, you know reason with them and like you never know man sometimes you don't realize something until someone else tells you so man no bro get your shit on man stop being a punk david gotten so intense good being a bitch it's all about the pretty mind so what's the pretty mind so let's say it's day one of a job interview yeah, crank that shit up you got the clothes laid out, you got the food ready to go in the morning, you've been prepared for weeks and weeks and weeks. You show up and you bring your best self. You get the job, Merry Christmas. All right, after a couple months, you start showing up to work a little later, you don't look as good, your clothes aren't laid out, your breakfast isn't ready, your mind's getting softer. Lose 
futures. Everything in life. When New Year's coming up, guess what? Don't have a fucking pretty mind. Repetition every day. Stay hard. Stay hard, bro. Consistency. Are only living at about 40% of their capability. The mind has a governor, like a car. If you're driving a car and the car has a governor on it, the car may say 130 miles an hour, but the governor's set for 91. The car wants to go. The car wants to go, but that factory said, uh-uh, we're not going past 91. We have a factory, a nice governor in our brain. And it's the survival mechanism. It protects us from pain and suffering. At all times of your life, the mind has a tactical advantage over you. Why is that? It knows what you're afraid of. It knows your insecurities. It knows yeah. your deep, dark lies. And it starts to push you away from that. It pushes you in a direction that is comfortable. Facts. The mind controls everything. If you get to 40%. Yo, he's fucking talking facts, bro. Everything's all mental, bro. It's all mental. Honestly, dude, you know, I don't know if you guys ever ran like, you know, um, like my like a mile, for example, you know, if you haven't ran in a long time and you went to go run a mile and whatnot and you're almost at the finish line, but you're gassing out like and you're starting to form like a cramp, you know, you just want to quit. Your mind is telling you quit, quit, quit. Something behind the back of your head is just saying, yo, just stop, bro. It's OK, just stop. But once you, you know, overpass that barrier in your mind of like always quitting you you say to yourself no i'm not gonna quit i'm almost there at the finish line i'm gonna keep on pushing and keep on going and going and going and then next thing you know you end up passing it you know you completed it it's all mental man it's the way you see it you know i've had those moments many times that like like running for example i haven't ran in a long time and then when i go back into the groove of it i'm dying i want to quit i want to lay on that street and just fucking die but I'm not going to allow myself to do that, you know, because I'm going to fight to the end. I'm just going to continue to fight to keep on going. And I've prevailed every time. It's all mental, man. It's just the way you see it. It's all mental. Your brain says, we're done. Let's roll, man. This is starting to get painful. This is uncomfortable. So you sit down. You have to figure out ways. Everybody's different. That's how the book kind of talks about, like, we all have these things about, you know, five steps to this and, and four steps to this it's, it's a lot more than that that's all bullshit it's it's a practice that you have to, it's a habit so if you know that at 40 percent i'm yo i'm sorry to pause the video so many times but i just have this weird oh, excuse me i don't know if this is just me but i have this weird like feeling that i always want to jump rope like always like i always have this urge to jump rope <laughs> i I don't know why. Every time I'm like thinking about something or whatever, I I just have like the need, the urge to start jump roping, bro. And I have like a bunch of jump ropes. I have one here. Like a speed rope. I just want to jump rope. I don't know. I just wanted to share that. Because, you know, I share everything. You know, I'm feeling pain. At 40%, I'm feeling pain. That's where the 40% rule kicks in. Now it starts. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling pain. My mind stays all the same. Get out of here. Run. That's when she Leave. gets tough. The fight or flight kicks in. Yep. Okay, we're done. We're not good enough. It starts telling you all these things. You start to believe it. Because the mind controls all. This is the time where you have to gain control back in your mind. It's okay. Let me see if I can go 45. Yeah, man. And once you start giving yourself more and more hope, mm -hmm. and start realizing, okay, the mind starts to be, okay, what, what are you doing? We're supposed to be going right, and you're going left. You start then controlling your mind. Start finding more in you know in yourself. And then it goes from 40% to a lot further than that. But that's the start of it though. Get to the spot where your mind is saying stop. Wherever that is, you gotta get there first. And then that's when that starts to work for you. Yeah, man. You gotta control Baby yourself stuff. in that moment. You gotta take the leap. Well, it's that time of year again, we start to feel real happy. Why? Because we're we're not going to work. If you believe in Santa Claus and you celebrate Christmas, you're looking forward to Santa Claus coming on the chimney and giving you some presents. It's a real good time of year, so in that good time of year, we start to feel real good about ourselves. We start, start to feel great. So we start making promises to ourselves about, hey, I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to do better at school. That new year's be better here be better there. But guess what happens? New year, new me. Uh -huh. Christmas happens. And all of that noise is gone. It's 
life. It is you against you. And now all of these orphans are gone. And our promise you made by getting up early and getting after to go lose weight, study harder, guess what? It's a lot harder now. That repetition becomes a lot harder now. So a lot of us can't do things on our own. So find somebody in your life. So when you throw that towel in, they throw that motherfucker back at you and say you're not done yet. Okay. How are you going to feel, man, when you accomplish this goal coming from that point? Coming from the fucking hell you came from. A lot of people start from a good starting point. They have a good foundation. What if you can surpass all of these people? What if everybody who was way up here started up here? And you had, you started with no legs. You had to go with legs. So you can start walking and then crawling and then running. And then you start passing people and all this given to them. True. This might be exactly what I need. It's hard work, man. The darkness is exactly what, what I, I need. It's how you look at your situation. Damn. <laughs> Fucking David Goggins, bro. Stay hard. That's just, that's the saying, man. <sighs> He's 100% right. 100% right. Whenever you're in like a, a predicament or a situation that you feel like it's tough, it's hard, you you don't see a way out or it doesn't feel like there's no there's not a way out. I just want you to know that there is. There's a way out. But you got to want it because ain't nobody going to take you out of it but yourself. You have to change your mentality and how you approach difficult situations. You know, if you always think that it's always going to be bad or nothing's ever going to get done. Um, it's, oh, I'm always going to live a shitty life or whatever. Then you're going to constantly live that shitty life because you just keep repeating that, saying that out into the world. Versus, no, I'm not going to let this define me. I'm going to prevail, I'm going to overcome it, and I'm going to be the best person that I can be. I'm going to fucking be great. And what he was saying right there, man, like, it's, it's facts, you know? A lot of people come from the struggle. A lot of successful people come from struggling times. They were homeless, they were broke, you know, they hadn't, didn't have money for food, they were starving, living in the streets, and look where they are now, man. Like, half of these people are fucking billionaires, millionaires. You know, living their best life. But it wasn't given to them. It was hard work. It was consistency. And, of course, they wanted it. They had to drive to overcome that. And we all have that capability. We all do. But it starts right here. This has to be a fucking cinder block, bro. A steel box. That no one can break you. And you won't let no other situation break you as well. That's the end of the video, guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much. That was the most... The most motivating six minutes of your life, David Goggins. Shout out to you, bro. You crazy motherfucker. Stay hard, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you in the next reaction video. No cap. Deuces. Oh, yes, daddy.